slices. Yep. Um, and essentially it was created in France. It's, it's, and basically like with a regular knife, you take the knife and you bring it to the food. With this, you bring the food to the knife, which gives you much more consistency. Yep. It's uh, even slices every time, but this does a whole bunch of things. It's on price break for $29.95. John, what do you love about this, Look, baby? Well, I love it because it gives you uniform slices. Everybody knows when you cook, if you want it to cook evenly, it has to be sliced evenly. And with a knife, you get one thick slice, then one thin slice. With the mandolin, now you get uniform slices each and every time. And here's probably the hardest thing you'll ever have to slice in the kitchen. By the way, guy, look, look at you. this. It's got a handle on one end. Rubber feet on the bottom. You can put it on your countertop, tabletop, or you can do this, or it fits over any size bowl. So you can slice, dice, and chop right into a salad bowl if you like. But the slices all come out perfect and uniform for salads, sandwiches. Now, if you like the slice, watch the difference. There's a knob on either side of the machine. So, if you don't like the thick slice, maybe you like it thin, there's eight different slicing thicknesses. You can hear it click as you turn that knob. Every time you turn that knob, it gets thinner or thicker, depending on how you like it. So, it's a versatile tool. Now, for onions, how about this? You can saute peppers and onions, steak and onion, liver and onion, potatoes and onion. For thin sliced onions, for heroes and hamburgers, you can't beat this machine. If you're into pickling, you're gonna love it. Because, and I got, and you know, here's why. Every Every professional wow. chef in the world <laughs> has a mandolin in their kitchen yeah. tool arsenal somewhere because you get perfect thin slices like this. How about pickling? My grandmother, she was pickled all the time. A pickling all there the time. There you go. Back in the day, we Mine used to pickle. Too. You went to cucumbers. I tell you, <laughs> look at this. You can't lose with wow. the chips I use. Right? If you got a hot poker game. I mean, look at those pa paper thin slices. Any thinner than that look guy, it, it, they'd it, only it. have one side. Wow. But those are perfect for bread and butter pickles or for a cucumber and onion yeah. salad. Oh, I love you that. You can nickel down carrots for canning. You can slice beets for pickling. Oh, and by the way, here's what made mandolins famous, or actually what mandolins were originally developed developed to do over a hundred years ago in Germany, they are originally made as a cabbage board for making sauerkraut. Yeah. You take a, ca a head of cabbage, cut it in half, or if look it's it, a large look, head, look, you look can it. quarter it down. Look at how perfect, John. But all you do is brush it against that blade. Wow. Iceberg lettuce on taco night, you can get your shredded lettuce for tacos, burritos, enchiladas, tostadas, and I'll tell you what, any finer than that guy, look at that. That comes out more like <laughs> shredded meat. Take it 30 seconds. <laughs> shredded you know, people are right? buying it in bags like that and they're wasting their money. I know. Right? Why buy it already shredded up for you? Crazy. It's, cheap. it's like $1.39 a pound this I way know. Know. and it's 39 cents a pound this way. Yeah. So it costs less to eat fresh. Now, watch the difference because there's also another knob. See, I'm, I'm adjusting the knobs on the side by turning it just like this. I'm going to take it down to the thickest slice and then watch what happens. See these teeth that pop up? Now, with the, you have large teeth. You have really tiny teeth, and then you've got medium teeth for, di for, for mincing. And I'll tell you, just for onions alone, if this is the only thing you'll ever use this for, I think it's worth it, just awesome. for the chopped onions. You're not even you looking. Chop onions for tuna <laughs> fish or chicken Look at salad. That. For meatloaf on, ta wow. hey, on taco night, you'll yeah. love it. And oh, here, if you want to save time in the kitchen, try celery on a mandolin. It goes through it like like a the lawnmower went yeah. wild in a cabbage patch. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> right, look, all you do is brush it through. Wow. You can do one stock at a time, or you can use the whole bunch. But for stuffing, soups, and stews, guy, there's 26 different ways just that. to cut celery with this machine. Look Did you know that? that? Yeah, you know what? And, and you know, I like to make soups, but prepping the vegetables, hardest part, yeah. John, right? Oh, yeah. And the different angles that you can run the vegetables through will give you different ty styles of cut. So if you want to, if you, maybe you're into stir fries or have a wok at home, yeah. now you can make your celery spears, bok choy Ooh. spears, and, and throw them right, right in or for your- veggie dips uh, too, For veggie right? dips, yeah. yeah. Now if you want bigger ones, you use the bigger teeth. But this is what I like it for. And why the, if you have kids, they're gonna love this too. Because just for french fries, I mean, you don't have to use a mandolin for everything that we're showing you here, but if you just use it for the one or two things that you're gonna use it for, mo for you know, mostly at home, yeah. it's worth it. How many times, oh my I gosh, mean, why, that. <laughs> French those fries like, by the hey, mouth. those are the famous fries, but these ones, ours have the skin on, which makes it yeah, even right. better. I know. <laughs> you can do this at home. Hey, John, let me show everybody really quick yes, the colors yes, and then yes, we'll come yes. back to you. All right, oh, really quick update first. 
Our pan sold out. Congratulations. Hey, keep your eyes open. I may do that one as a host pick yeah. coming up in uh, in October because I love that item. So if you got shut out, I'm sure we'll bring it back for you. So anyway, I want to show you the colors uh, of this. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but the, 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 the handle that plugs in, it's a safety handle, yes. right? And there's little pins inside. And what this does is if, I, if this is a piece of fruit or an onion, it sticks on there. And now he keeps your fingers protected as you're going across the blade. But it's also... Ooh, a citrus juicer, right? So you can do your lemons, limes, and oranges right on the top, and you can juice uh, citrus. So comes in orange, comes in green, purple, black, blue, and of course, red. So those are your, your color choices today. It's only $29.95. You know, John, most people are not really, really skilled with a knife. I mean, I, right. I learned culinary and I, I, you know, school of hard knocks. I was in the restaurant business for 20 <laughs> right. years. You learn how to use a knife. Yep. Most people don't know how to use one. Well, so. and, and even if you do know how to use a knife, yeah. the time that you save with a mandolin, that's what pays well, for and it. Tell everybody the story of why because, this always stays sharp. Well, the reason it stays sharp is because a lot of people ask, how long will that blade stay sharp? Well, first yeah. of all, it's a razor sharp German stainless steel blade. And all that blade ever touches are vegetables, fruit, meat, and cheese. So it's not like a knife that hits your countertop or cutting board there you or your go. plates or dishes, okay? Right. After a while, your knives get so dull, I mean, you couldn't, you <laughs> can hardly cut no, yourself do with it. But, I mean, <laughs> that blade stays razor right. sharp. Now, the difference, though, again, it's such a, an adjustable machine. It's such a versatile tool that you can literally do just about anything in the kitchen, and including, here, have you ever done this before? Maybe you've got yeah. kids with braces, okay, or a grandfather with teeth like the stars. Yeah. You, know, you know, they come out at night. <laughs> if you've ever tried to get corn off the cob with a knife and it flies up into your eyebrows and on the hair, in your hair, or if you have oh, any, and on the ceiling. Yeah, jumps. And look at this. All you do is lay the ear of corn down and brush it through. Oh, my Okay, goodness. now I'm doing this on the thick slice. Yeah. It takes four or five rows of sweet corn off the cob each time you run it through there. For creaming or steaming, for boiled or buttered corn, Ooh, look at that. for relishes, for chowders, yeah. and then there's ridges on either side of the machine, so you can even milk your cob for your cream-style corn, for your succotash, for soups, stews, and chowders. That way you get all the goodness <laughs> off the cob. You, you don't, don't waste, waste anything. anything. No, look, I mean, look you get the worms and all, guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that. It's all good protein. Well, if you're vegetarian, pick right, I want you to see what John has done, and John has <laughs> taken his time with this. He, honestly, John, if he really wanted to go fast, he could fill this entire board. Uh, I had a staff at one of my restaurants. All they did was prep vegetables all morning. Yep. To come hours and hours to do it you can do it very easily using a mandolin slicer hey listen I, you can go and spend two hundred dollars on, on a stainless steel mandolin slicer uh, online why do that when the most important part is the blade and that's what you have the stainless steel blades with the lightweight portability of being able to utilize this machine anywhere by the way it even has a way to be able to do your slicing right over a bowl yep uh, because there's little there's a little ridge on the bottom of that of that machine that will sit right on a bowl so if and you want to chop about you want to do it like vertical yeah it goes know? right into any sliced right. salad bowl what I love about it, though, is this safety holder. I mean, it, using use this it, machine use or any mandolin without yeah. one of these is like driving a car without brakes, yeah, okay? Yeah, crazy. Because the blade's razor sharp, and, that, and that's why it works so well, but that's also why we give you the safety holder. So, you know, when, when you're far away from your hand and you've got a long vegetable, you can use your hand, but when you get close to your, your fingers, I mean, use that safety holder. You don't oh cut yourself, and you don't waste anything, because it's designed to take Look it right it. down to the end. You know, if you're making yep. scallop potatoes, potatoes are and gratin. you're trying to do it with a knife. Homemade potato <laughs> chips. <laughs> look, right? at, look at how skinny. Hey, you throw These those are. on a cookie sheet in oh, the oven, junk. sprinkle some Parmesan cheese Chips. or barbecue salt over the top. Look They're delicious, that. baked instead of deep fried. And you season them how you like. Yeah. And, and I, that's the thing, it's such a versatile tool. And I gotta show you this too, because I showed you the cabbage coleslaw earlier. I know I kind of sliced my way into a corner here. Because you do, you go through, yeah, I mean, it, it's so fast yeah. that you get the job done quick. So if you want your cabbage coleslaw long and stringy like this, you can do that. But if you'd rather have your cabbage deli style. Oh, yeah, you know, I like you it know, really, like you get I like it finely chopped. Yep, okay. Yeah. So this way is one way. Or all you have to do is adjust the machine. I'm gonna pop those medium sized teeth up watch. and watch this because now you can chop your cabbage yeah. deli style. So, you know, and of course, any, anything that grows in layers like cabbage, celery, onions, you get that perfect 
perfect mints each and every time. Wow. And I always say, Guy, if the only thing you will ever use your mandolin for is chopping onions, uh, it, it's worth it for like three bucks a finger, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah, I it say. Really is. I mean, I'm looking at the price. If you've ever slipped on one of these old four sided tin can things because yeah. they don't, you know, there's nothing to protect your fingers. Right. Or if you've ever dropped an onion into a food processor or mm -hmm. one of those choppers that you have to, you know, that, that, that's like a lawnmower yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Look, all you do is brush it through that blade. It's the design of the machine which is designed by which way the vegetables grow. Because we all know the veggies grow in layers, right? Like right. You know, onions grow in and rings. Onions, so if yeah. you separate those rings, that's why you see a chef playing tic-tac-toe like this on a knife and then take a slice. Well now, look at this. I mean, again, if you want bigger pieces, just go to the larger teeth and watch the difference. There are so many now, combinations, for soups John, and right? Stews, for oh stir gosh. fries, okay. I mean, you get the job done quick that way. So no you get bigger pieces. No what job you're doing, whether you're doing uh, vegetables to saute, right. or you want finely minced because you're doing it in soups and things like that, it gives you the control to do that. It does. And I will tell you that we have a lot of wonderful chefs here. There's not a chef that we have here that can that can replicate the consistency no. of using a mandolin, which yeah. is why <laughs> many of those chefs, probably every one of them, uses a mandolin when they're yeah. when they're prepping food. First of all, it's it's very, very fast. It's very, very consistent. Uh, it's a lot safer when you use a little top. It's a lot safer, but you're never going to be able to replicate, like we said, a perfection unless you use a machine like this. And, right. and I love, look at all the stuff that we've done. I mean, you're <laughs> almost ready to dump. We're going to need a wheelbarrow to get rid of some oh, of this no, stuff. Hey, listen. <laughs> but, uh, but even if you, you know, if you want to make, you want to do, you know, things Apples. For, you, for your yeah. dehydrator tray. Oranges, kiwi yeah. fruits, lemon, lime, tangerine. All you do is brush it through there. It does the work for you. You never have to worry about cutting yourself because you've got that safety holder. But for fruits, veggies, meats, and cheeses, this machine does everything but the cooking. And I mean, again, oh, by the way, I almost forgot to tell you, this is a citrus juicer yeah. as well, okay? In fact, here, I've got a half an orange on this I one. I told them a little uh, bit, but yeah, we haven't shown them this. yet. All you do is cut an orange, lemon, or lime in half you, and place it over the top push down and squeeze, and look at that, it even has a pour spout, so you can take this right over to your orange juice glass, pour it in, you've got fresh orange juice Sweet. first thing in the morning. Nice little double, do <laughs> double duty know. right there. So you can use this all the time, but it is the safety holder for the mandolin. All right, so let me tell you again, and that comes along with it, that's actually the holder, as John just said, so you're gonna have a choice. The one John's using is red, which we have in the back. It comes in blue, comes in black, comes in purple, comes in green. I love the green and the orange color. It comes in those two. It doesn't matter what color you get. They all work the same. And remember, it's completely adjustable. Yeah. How you adjust it, there's two, two knobs on here, okay? There's one on one side, one on the other, and that's how you adjust the thickness. That basically raises or lowers the blade, so you can see how, how, th how thick that yeah. is. And then you have your other which essentially just gives you your cross-cut blades and you have three different settings for those. So if you want things to be finely chopped, then you use these crisscross blades. If you just want things sliced, then you essentially just crank these back and they disappear and then you just adjust the blade going up or down and that's the flat position right there how you want to store it. So yeah. honestly, you can't go wrong with this. If you're one of those people that doesn't know how to chop things, well, in one easy lesson, you can be really yeah. good at it, <laughs> right? Right. But I, again, it does just about everything but the cooking. But what I love about it more than anything is that uniformity. Everything comes out perfect and uniform. And it's again, it's an adjustable tool. So if you want uh, thick slices, you can do thick slices. If you want to do thin slices, you can do thin. And there's eight different settings that go anywhere from anywhere in between. So here's your thick. All I have to do is turn the knob on the side. Turn I'm going to take this up. I'm, I took it up three notches. There's yeah. a medium. Here, I'm going to take it up two more notches. I'm going to go thin. thin. And then here, I'm going to go super thin. I mean, not super, super thin. Look at this. Shaved almost. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like. And again, there's no way. Even the, uh, yeah. the most that on, <laughs> expensive <sandwich>. knife, okay, <sighs> by the most profound chef in the world could not slice that safe that Shave fast or that thin. Shave peppers. <laughs> I mean. All right, listen, everybody. Um, I know John's got to run over because he's going to get us started. Uh, by the way, if you do own, uh, and you obviously all have knives and you want to yep. get a great way to clean them, we're going to show you how to do that in just a bit. But let me remind you again of your colors. So it comes in orange, purple, red, green, blue, and black. $29.95, which is our uh, price break today. And it's on FlexPay, only $7.49. So just let us know which one you you would like to get and honestly it's going to make your job so much easier with uh, when slicing now if you want to take your slicing to another level make sure you hang out for our today's special because mark gill will be coming up in just a bit and he's going to show you how you can spiralize 
all your favorite foods. And I got to tell you, that's the latest thing happening thing that's going on right now. Everybody absolutely loves, loves, loves it. All right. So 